For today's manicure, I'll be sharing with you guys how to create a beautiful gradient manicure along with a nail art stamping demo. All items will be listed down below. For this manicure, you're going to want to prep your nails with two coats of a white polish and as an accent nail, I decided to go for a silver polish. Around my cuticles, I have a product that I have newly formulated called Easy Peel, which is fantastic for easy cleanup for messy manicures like a gradient such as this, water marbling or nail art stamping. Or if you just have a shaky hand with regular polishing, this will be great for easy cleanup. So I'm going for a white to purple gradient theme as it's perfect for springtime and the upcoming Easter holiday. So I'm just going ahead and applying my first layer of that. So after allowing the first layer to dry for just about a minute or so, you can go ahead and apply your second coat of gradient. With the polishes I'm using, I find two coats works perfectly fine. You can go ahead and continue building up your desired opaqueness. When you have finished applying all your layers of gradient, you can then move forward to applying a top coat, but try to do this as soon as you're done applying the gradient while the polish is semi-wet still, as the top coat helps smooth everything else into a very seamless, airbrush looking final result. So now to pizzazz up my accent nail just a little bit, I'm going ahead with this glittery holographic polish and I'm taking it to a sponge. And I really prefer applying glitter polish this way because I find that the sponge absorbs a lot of the glitter's base and I find when I would apply glitter polish normally, it would just be goopy and I would be applying layer after layer after layer to get my desired look and it would just take forever to dry. So I find that this method helps it go on a lot thinner, less goopy and it dries so much faster. So now moving on to the fun part, the nail art stamping. I am using Cheeky Beauty's Jumbo Plate in Wild at Heart. I'll be using my Creative Shop Eat Sleep Polish Scraper, my Creative Shop Stamper which I've ordered from Eat Sleep Polish, and my Conad White Stamping Polish. Taking your stamping polish, begin applying that to the image plate as shown and I'm using a really pretty butterfly design. Taking your scraper and scraping away any excess polish. Obviously that was not a good job, but no worries because we can always go back and scrape some more. And you want to go ahead and take your stamper, roll the stamper over the image, pick up the image, and to the very best that you can, try to align your nail up with the image as straight as you can. And I'm just going over and rolling that over my nail. So here's a tip that I use for cleaning up my nail stamping head in between every design that I do. So this is just a lint roller down below and I freaking love this idea because you can just roll that stamper over and it just picks up any excess polish on that and you're ready to go for your next image. Also in between every stamp that you do, you always want to make sure prior to stamping over and over, in between all those stamps you want to make sure you have a clean plate. So stamp your nail, go back and take a cotton pad with some nail polish remover, wipe the plate down of any prior nail polish, make sure that's dry and then you can go ahead and start applying your next step. So after finishing all of my nails, I went ahead and cleaned up any excess polish around, added some top coat, and applied some cuticle oil for some much needed nourishment. I did add some extra pizzazz to my accent nails and I unfortunately didn't have the chance to record it as I kept getting interrupted, but that is okay as I only added some rhinestones and using a nail art striper in black polish, I added some single chevron lines. So that is it for my manicure. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care.